going on everybody? Welcome to Adventure Time Prospecting, West Virginia's only gold prospecting channel, and I guarantee it. Anyhow, folks, here we are back out in West Virginia, out here in Canal County in particular. I'm going to spin y'all around, show you Honeysuckle Creek. Y'all might just remember this spot. Look at all this bedrock here, folks. Look at that. Bedrock. It's all a bedrock under that moss. That's good stuff. We're going to try to work some of this stuff right here. <clears throat> Run it through the sluice, see what we come up with. And some of these little gravel deposits that showed up. Look at all that. Quartz in there. Quartz. Pieces of hematite. Quartz. I haven't found any points yet, but I tell you what, I'm keeping my eyes open because Honeysuckle Creek's been pretty good to me when it comes to points. Anyhow, I'm going to get a bucket of this. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to get some of this here stuff in the bucket. I'm going to classify it down. And we're going to show y'all how to find some bedrock gold today. Bedrock gold, because I guarantee you there's gold in all this stuff down here in these down here hunkered down in this bedrock so I tell you what I'm gonna get me a bucket and we're gonna fill it up and we're gonna start running some of this stuff anyhow we'll be right back with y'all and we'll see you in a bit gone, it's pretty out here hey right, guys you can see this is the bedrock we're getting into got some of the moss that was on top of these rocks you can see there's a lot of quartz in this stuff. Here's the tailings. A lot of quartz in it. What I've been doing is classifying it down. Of course, I've been taking my scoops and have this bucket full of water. Then you classify it down, get all the bigger rocks off. That way we're left with smaller sand like material in here to run through our sluice. So. We'll take it up there and start running this. We'll probably run four or five buckets of this good stuff and see what we come up with. Anyhow, we'll see y'all over to the sluice. Alrighty, folks, here we are. This is one of those beautiful times when all you gotta do is set your sluice down on the bedrock and you're running. Look at that. I hope y'all can hear me. But I'm sure y'all like the sound of the water more than you do my voice. That's one of my favorite things about getting out here. Is that sound of that water you hear. Folks, it's an absolute perfect day. But all I'm going to do is run that classified material we got right off that bedrock. And I'm going to sit here and run it through my sluice. And what it's going to do is all the heavies are going to stick there in the bottom of this sluice, and all the lighter material is going to wash right off the end. Tell you what, I love traveling around prospecting. There ain't nothing like being at home in West Virginia, just a few miles from the house. That's what I know. Anyhow, I'm gonna keep on feeding this. Go down there and get me another scoop off that bedrock. Another bucket full, a few bucket fulls rather. And I'll check back in with y'all here in just a little bit.
Tell you what, getting out to the creek sure does get you into some pretty places. Look at there. It don't get a lot better than this. Got the sleeve set up right on the bedrock. Look at that. All this bedrock to work this summer. Friggin' awesome. Friggin' awesome. Anyhow, I'm gonna get my last bucket. It's bucket number three. I'm gonna run it through and we'll clean it up and take it home and see what we got, if anything. We had a lot of good rain here lately, so hopefully we'll go get some gold in that puppy. Be right back. I'm not seeing any gold yet, but more often than not, you find it when you pan. Anyhow, I'm gonna keep on feeding her nice and slow and we'll catch back up with y'all when we empty her out into the bucket. We'll see what we got left in it and then we'll take it home and paint it out under controlled substances. Circumstances. All right, folks, just bring her on out of the water. There's a lot of heavies in there. A lot of black sands. So, we'll tip her up in the bucket. Give her a good cleaning out. And then we'll pack her up. I'm not seeing anything jumping out at me, but. We will see y'all guys back at the house and we'll pan it out and see what's in this stuff. Ha 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 ha, we'll see y'all back at the house. <laughs> All right, y'all, here we are back at the house. You can see my snowball bush is a little bit past, it, past its prime. I got everything we brought back dumped down here in this screen. It's about kitchen strainer size. So we'll get the bigger rocks out of here, just like we did at the creek get rid of that competition Just the gold out here is very small so we gotta keep it keep the bigger stuff down piece of road paint sure looks like a nice nugget though doesn't it well wouldn't that be nice all right folks anyhow this here's what we're left with. Not a whole lot. That dream mat, I really like it. Dream mat in that sluice. That thing really captures the fine, fine gold here in West Virginia. So we want to get it up to a semi-liquid state there. Get all that heavy gold to the bottom. Then we'll just start tipping it up. Washing that light stuff off. You can already see all the heavy hematite sands in there. That's a good sign. We're just going to keep washing, rinsing it back. And we're just trying to work that lighter stuff right off. But we'll be back. Get this stuff whipped down a little bit so we don't make this video extra long. Still panning. And still panning. We're getting there though. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Let me get her work down. We'll see what we got in here. Alright guys, we're getting there. We're just about there. We'll get a little bit of water in here. We'll get it worked down. You'll see a flake in there. It's not gold. It looks like a piece of state road paint or something and yeah we're, we'll, you'll see it in a second we'll get a little bit of this lighter stuff off here bring her back down again 
We'll see if we can't see a little bit of color in there. There's one little one floating or wanting to float around on me. See it right there in the center of your screen. There we got it down to the bottom. Anyhow, y'all, let me tap this stuff up. Because there's a couple more little pieces in here. and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, there's all the sand. I know there's a couple more pieces in there. But there's some of the really fine gold here. There you go, got in a little pile right there, and there's a few more kind of petering off to the side, down around in there, chasing all this wee tiny West Virginia gold. It's it's like herding cats, I'm telling you, especially when it's got all this heavy sand I still got to go through, and there's more in it. But anyhow, folks, that's gold straight out of West Virginia. It ain't much, but it's beautiful, and it's my favorite. What I'm basically trying to get across is if I can find a little bit of color here in West Virginia, chances are really good that you can find some wherever you are too. So get out, all I can say is get out there and explore and see what you can find. Anyhow, that's it for another Adventure Time prospecting, isn't it, Frankie? And we'll see y'all on the next one. Adventure Time Prospecting, West Virginia's only prospecting channel. I guarantee it. We'll see you on the next one.